mailbag time. This is an interesting little project we'll be working on. This is also going to be an interesting project. And here I've got no idea. Nothing. Okay. Oh, I know what's going to be in here. Someone will be happy. <laughs> it's capacitors. 50 volt, 47 microfarad. Right. Ooh, caps. Oh, hold on. Ooh, caps. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if it's your first time here. And consider becoming a patron if you help support the channel, help to buy things from Alabag or things to fix. Who says it's blunt? Oh, it's upside down. Excellent. Okay, so these are some LCD displays. These are sharp memory displays. I've used these in projects and they work really well. So I've done some like farm tech timer stuff, like a timer interface which I've used for events, and that has an other display on it. The actual one one of the parts has another display on it. And I want to replace that with some of these L C D displays instead. Now, I've already used these displays on some other parts of the system because it's all used outside. And these are really easy to see outside, they look really good because the lighting on them reflects off because reflective displays. And they're really high resolution, really nice. The other displays don't look anywhere near as good and they're much harder to see during daylight. So I actually want to replace them with these. So I've already got some of these left over from last time. But I thought, well, the guy was selling some more. So I thought, I'm going to get some more then. Because he's selling these cheaper than you can buy them from Digikit. I guess he's bought like a big stock of them and then projects been cancelled and something like that and then he's... Uh, sold them off for what he paid for them, I'm guessing, but yeah, work really well. So, let's get onto the big box. Those first two items were simple. This should be interesting, I hope. Double boxed. Different one proved so far. Might have to put this on the floor so I can get it out. Right, next box. Oh, we've got peanuts. This is going to get messy. There it is. Very well packaged, hopefully that. Oh, not the camera over. Anyone got any ideas what it is yet? Come on, give us some clothes. Comments down below. Go on. I know you want to. Right, let's see what's in here. Any ideas now? Come on, you must know what it is by now. I'll give you another minute. Go on, come on, stand by. Here's the power cable, which we'll probably be cutting off and throwing away. <laughs> US plug, shouldn't be a problem. One of the biggest problems of getting stuff here is I have to make sure that the voltages can be changed over because I don't want to have a piece of gear which runs on 110, 120 volts or whatever and accidentally plug it in and go bang. So that's something I've got to be careful of is not having things on long voltage. So this apparently can be changed over. Oh look, there's a bit more of a reel. Go on, guess now. So you can see got some damage on the top here. Now I was actually watching for one of these for a little while and I wasn't really seeing anything I liked and then this one popped up, I thought oh, yeah, it looks okay. So I bought this one. Then after I bought this, a couple more popped up, which actually looked like they were better condition. 
and cheaper. Just a bit unlucky, I suppose. <laughs> Should have had more patience. Here we go. So that's right, it's a Heathkit IT28 capacitor leakage tester. Not in perfect condition, like I said, and I wish I'd waited a bit longer because I would have actually got a different one because the ones that are on there now are actually better. But no, well, you know, things go like that sometimes. We'll have to pull this thing apart and check it out inside. Have to convert it over to 240 volt, that sort of stuff. This will be a future project video, but it's got this damage on the top, which is bent. So this handle's been hit, I think, and pushed it in. I think that's what's happened there. So I'm going to have to need to straighten all this out and get this nicely. Unfortunately, the paintwork's gone, which is a shame. No, it's aluminium chassis. Make sure to strip it all off and repaint it completely. I don't know. My control feels all right. Switch feels a little bit gummy, but okay. This switch feels nice. It feels good. This one's not as nice as this one. This one's latching a lot harder. Indents are much tighter. This one's a bit sloppier. Maybe it needs a clean. A bit gummy as well, probably. This switch there is all right. And that switch there is all right. This needs a good clean up, basically. Just good refurb. I'm not going to plug it in because. Well, I could actually plug this in. I do have adapters and stuff. Also, if you look at the earth pin, it looks a little bit wonky. I don't think it's going to work too well. Yeah, I don't like it. You can see it. Hmm. <laughs> Good job not using that lead. So I need another lead. I need a plug. I need to refurbish it. Needs a bit of work. There'll be a video project for the future, so make sure you do click like and subscribe. Because then, you'll get to see this in the future and I'll do a video on it. Should be interesting. I don't know what year this is from. Sue number is 03421. Oh, I don't know. These are all pretty old anyway. You know, it's it's not like it was 10 years old. It's you know probably 40 years old already. <laughs> I think the cat scan's broken. I think we need to open it up instead. Let's open this thing up and have a little look inside. See what we're dealing with before we start. I'm not going to do a full repair on it right now, it's going to open up and have a look inside and we'll see what's inside it see what condition it's in so these are on eBay choose carefully <laughs> right. it's stuck Top is stuck because it's being bent. There we go. It's just enough stack to move around. So valves are intact. Look okay. They're not dark or anything inside. I'm hardly a valve expert. I, I know very little about valves. Um, I'll just know, don't touch it. <laughs> I think it's really all you need to know. Don't touch it. So over here we've got some position capacitors. You have to be really careful about these. There's no big cap over here. Some of these paper caps, they need to go. This transformer here, I need to rewire this to 240 volt. Set it to 110 right now, 120, wherever it is. Switch will need cleaning. That switch will need cleaning. These pots will need cleaning. All these visitors here will need checking. Every single one of them will need checking. I believe, I think it was this one here, that's a common failure, that's often open circuit. I think it was that one, or well, it could have been this one here, I don't bloody know. I think it was this one. But all these visitors will need checking to make sure they're not too far off value. We've got like a big couple of big electrolytics in here which need to be replaced. Almost guaranteed need replacing. But yeah, it's got a few precision parts in there, and those need to be carefully done. There's some adjustments in here which have been gunked up. So that should be an interesting project. Um, it's a bit dusty in there, but you know, it's expected. And the casing, now you can kind of see how this top is all mangled up. So it's obviously been hit on the top handle where maybe it's been dropped upside down or something, or something, I don't know, maybe something's dropped on top of it, and it's banged it in here. That's not too big a deal, I can fix that. Probably just a case of taking that handle off, putting it upside down, not, not compressing these vents, and straightening it up there, man. I can fix that. I'm not worried about that, but it's a shame about the paint. If the paint didn't come off, it would be better. Never mind. Maybe I'll repaint it, but it's textured, which is a bit of a shame. It's got this texture to it. It's like a, I don't know, is that like a plastic film they put on? I'm not sure. 
Yeah, it's a shame. Nicer casing would have been good. Anyway, this will be future projects. Don't forget to subscribe to check it out. So there's a playlist down here. Things I think you should watch. There's a playlist over here. The YouTube things you should watch. There's a subscribe link over here if you haven't already done that. And here's a Patreon support link, which helps you to buy things like this. Bye.